The German firm Rheinmetall is gearing up to set up a production facility for manufacturing its Lynx infantry fighting vehicles in Ukraine. The project is to be funded by the German government and is aimed at enhancing Ukraine's military readiness in its conflict against Russia. The Lynx is amongst the most advanced infantry fighting vehicles in the world and is sought by numerous countries for modernizing their IFV fleets. Its modular design offers commonality of parts across various variants and enhances its operational readiness while reducing training and logistical costs. The Lynx can be armed with either a 30 or 35 mm cannon, a 7.62 mm machine gun, and an anti-tank missile launcher. It can carry up to nine infantry soldiers apart from its crew of three and boasts of a top speed of 70 km per hour and an operational range of 500 kilometers. The collaboration between Ukraine and Rheinmetall would play a major role in bolstering Ukraine's defense capabilities and is also demonstrative of Germany's continued support to Ukraine. India's state-owned armored vehicles Nagam Limited has delivered the first batch of 10 T-90 Mark III main battle tanks to the Indian Army. The T-90 tanks are being produced in India under a licensing agreement with Russia, and the recent deliveries were a part of a $2.8 billion contract for the supply of 464 T-90 tanks. The T-90 Mark III features several upgrades over its predecessors, including a new digital ballistic computer, automatic target tracking systems, and advanced sighting systems. These upgrades are also expected to make their way onto the Indian Army's existing T-90 fleet. The remaining fleet of 454 T-90 tanks would be delivered to the Indian Army in phases, and the entire contract is expected to be fulfilled over the next five years. The Romanian Army has received its first batch of Bayraktar TB2 drones from Turkey. Romania in 2022 has signed a contract worth $321 million for the procurement of three Bayraktar systems, featuring a total of three command posts and 18 UAVs. The Bayraktar TB2 is a medium-range UAV capable of conducting reconnaissance, surveillance and strike missions. It boasts of a range of 150 kilometers and can stay airborne for up to 27 hours. It is capable of carrying a wide variety of payload, including guided missiles and bombs. The Bayraktar rose to fame during the Armenia-Azerbaijan conflict and has also been used extensively in Ukraine. The procurement of Bayraktar TB2 UAVs is a part of the Romanian Army's modernization plans that aim to significantly enhance the capabilities of the Romanian Army by 2040. Turkey has signed a contract with the United States for the procurement of F-16 fighter aircrafts. The contract is valued at 23 billion US dollars and includes 40 new F-16 Block 70 fighters, upgrades for 79 Turkish F-16 aircrafts, ammunition and associated equipment. The Lockheed Martin F-16 is a single-engine multi-role fighter with exceptional air-to-air -air and air-to-surface combat capabilities. It is known for being a relatively low-cost, high-performance weapon system and is being used extensively by more than 25 nations around the globe. The Block 70 is the advanced version of the F-16 and integrates advanced capabilities for better interoperability with fifth-generation fighters. Turkey has been planning to upgrade its F-16 fleet since 2021 and the acquisition of 40 new fighters, along with upgrades to its existing fleet, will play a crucial role in enhancing the capabilities of the Turkish Air Force. Indian defense firm Economic Explosives Limited, a subsidiary of Solar Industries, has delivered the first lot of 120 Nagastra-1 loitering munitions to the Indian Army. The Nagastra-1 is Solar Industries' first loitering munition and is designed for conducting precision strikes against soft targets. The system weighs around 9 kilograms and boasts of an operational range of 30 kilometers and an endurance of 30 minutes. 
It is armed with a one kilogram high explosive fragmenting warhead and also features a parachute based recovery system. It uses a battery powered propulsion system and is known for being extremely quiet. The Nagastra boasts of over 75% indigenous content and its induction into the Indian Army is indicative of India's growing self-reliance in the defense sector.